Alright guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're doing a video on the DeVroom Pixel 64. So, you guys can actually see, it's actually right behind me there, scrolling right above, going through a bunch of pictures and stuff. And I've been having my eye on this for a while, but again, I didn't really have any room for it, and I knew I wanted it in my PC area, and I had to figure out how to implement it. So, when it came out, I kind of left it alone, and then I saw it on sale recently on Amazon and stuff like that, and finally decided to actually get uh, you know get involved with this and i'm really really excited to you know talk to you guys about this and show you guys what this thing can actually do because this thing can actually do a lot and i'm really really happy that i finally got this thing it does a lot of cool stuff and i've actually had the rooms products before i actually have one sitting on my desk right here if you guys can see it, the little computer one that's sitting there in the corner. And I have a couple more over there. But this one is, a, is the one that I actually have that's true to size. And it does a lot more than those small ones can do. Even though those small ones are cool, this thing does even more. And I'm really, really happy with it uh, so far. And I wanted to show you guys all the features and everything to see if it's worth putting in your collection. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming techie. All right, guys, here we are with the DeVroom app that I want to show you guys. Uh, you guys are looking at the app right now. And I also have the DeVroom up there in the top corner there of what I'm actually looking at. But I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what the actual app looks like on here so you guys can get an idea of all the different features that the Pixel 64 actually gives you. Because if you guys can see from over there, I do have another DeVroom product over here, which is a little computer icon that I or computer product that I had. Uh, that I really, really liked. But this one actually gives you, not only is it larger, uh, but it also gives you some more unique features as well that this small one can't do. And we're going to talk about it in this app here. So, for example here, uh, I'm on the main screen here, as you can tell. And this is all the digital galleries and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and scroll over to the discovery page here. Uh, this is where my Pixel 64 is connected. And this one connects through Wi-Fi. So the little ones that you see here, like the one I have, were Bluetooth before. And now this is Wi-Fi. And you can see here, you have all the same stuff that you're kind of used to in the beginning here. You have the design functionality. So you can kind of design your own thing here and then and, and design your own animation. And then put it up right there on the Pixel, which is pretty cool. Then you got uh, an animation uh, thing you can create. So you can copy each frame from one frame and kind of make it animate, um, which is really cool. You got music over here, so you can listen to music on it. You got the alarm functionality. You got a planner, so you can go ahead and create a planner and add different events, which is cool. You got celebration days, so it can alert you on someone's birthday or something like that. You got a countdown meter, so it can count down to anything. You got a stopwatch. You got a scoreboard. You can actually, and then you also have the chat functionality on here, and you can actually, if you both own like Pixel devices like this, you can actually send messages back and forth to each other, which is interesting. So you got all of these different features here, as you can see. Uh, scrolling through here that you can actually use on here so but that's just the start those are all the different functionality things that you can do like I said you got the scoreboard here which is pretty cool you can kind of see that up there if you guys want a visualization you got a stopwatch that's how the stopwatch looks like up there yeah you got the countdown meter up there which has a pretty cool animation you got celebration days as you guys can see there where you can celebrate a specific day uh, you can add alarm listen to music all that kind of stuff so like we just talked about but then we scroll over to the actual channel. So on the channel section here, this is really cool because you can actually customize all these different things. So you got the social media one, uh, for example. So if I go onto my YouTube one that I have set up before, if I click on it, it will actually show when it refreshes here my YouTube. So it will actually show how many current subscribers I have, uh, you know, the time of day at the bottom, and my channel kind of scrolling through and stuff like that, which is really cool. Uh, the same thing with Twitter. It's got the Twitter one, so you can go ahead and select that one, and then I can have my Twitter show up on there. Same thing with this TikTok one, the Twitch one. You know, same idea as what these are right here uh, for all these different ones. You even got one that has uh, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube at the same time, uh, which is really interesting. So then you got financial things that you can add on here, like Bitcoin, uh, the U.S. stock, the exchange rate, cyber, uh, cyber currency, all that kind of stuff. Then you have these game ones, and I don't play Fortnite, but I'll just show you for the sake of visibility. You actually have three different games that they currently support. I've only tried one, so I can't say for sure that the League of Legends and Overwatch one works. But for the Fortnite one, I did link it to my account, even though I barely play Fortnite. You can see it shows you how many times you've actually played the game, which is 21, how many kills I've gotten, which is 14. Uh, so all that stuff is pretty cool, and my total score in the actual game. So that's really, really cool that it has that on there that you can kind of showcase on there. you got all your sports ones, so it has one for... You know, the NHL, the NBA, 
Um, all that kind of stuff is on here, which is great. Then you got your tools. You can do a QR code out there if you want to showcase a QR code. Maybe you made a QR code for Wi-Fi or something and you want to show it on there. You got a Spotify clock. You got a weather, Amazon Music, a Fitbit clock, a vintage message board, all these different utilities that are on here. And these are all these uh, clocks that you have here obviously can't be done on the smaller one, which is what makes this one unique. I really like the way that this, all this stuff presents itself. You got a Christmas one that kind of counts down to Christmas, which is really cool. You got a bunch of different variety of ones as you guys are looking at here. Uh, which is really cool you got some normal ones here that you can just showcase the clock and different things so a lot of different variety on here as well and this clock collection one here at the bottom is really cool because if you click on this you can actually select multiple clocks to run in a row so if you want to do multiple of the ones i just showed you instead of having to click on one at a time and then cycle through them this will just cycle for it and have multiple clocks at the same time so that's really cool then, of course, you have the cloud channel, which has been a thing about the, all the other products, and I really, really like it. Basically, you can do a recommended gallery where it's just scrolling through the top 100, I think is what it is, of all the different animations that you have in the game, which is really cool. And then you can do a creation album, so you can go ahead and uh, choose a different album, and it will show you artwork for that specific one based on different categories that they have selected here. So if I were to click on one, it will show me all the different ones for you know video game, like I have selected right now, where it's just scrolling through the video game category. So that stuff is really nice. And uh, then you can favorite different art, uh, different ones that you like. So it will scroll through all the way ones that I favorited. If you heart them in the category, you can kind of see what's there. Or you can subscribe to a specific artist, which is really, really cool. So they have a lot of really cool stuff on there. And I love the pixel artwork on here. It's got visualizer. So this will actually beep to the actual music and stuff. So if I were to put a visualizer on there, you can actually hear. It hears me talking louder. So it goes up and then comes down. Uh, it actually does work. I've tested it with music and they have all these different variety of ones on here as well. So those are really cool that I really, really like. And then over here is the gallery. So you can go ahead and scroll through, search for a bunch of different things. Look at all these different categories. Character, festival, emojis, excuse me, emojis, creative nature, daily, icon, business, and all these different ones. And then, like I said, you can either heart them, like I talked about to add to your favorites, or you can click on them and download them right to your, right to the device. Uh, which is really cool. So all of these different things that you can look at and, and scroll through. There's tons and tons of different animations that people have created and stuff. Probably something for every category you can think of because that's what I've been searching for. And there's some really, really cool animations that I've seen come up on there. I love doing the creation one where it just shows the top 100 because every month it gets updated and you never know what you're going to see when you come down here. So really, really like all of that stuff um, on there. So that is basically an overview of the actual app. I really, really like this thing. Let me give you guys a close-up of this actual thing so you guys can look at it. So I really love the size of this thing that I have on here. It fits perfectly on the shelf. And uh, it's definitely a much, a much better size to actually showcase this art because some of the art that people are making now, even though it could fit on this little small one that I have right here that I always have on and scroll through too, which is awesome, uh, some of the animations that people are making are now much better on a larger display because people now have these larger ones. So it looks even better on here. And I love the fact that you can have you know stopwatches, on here like I showed you before and all the music ones and stuff like that I love the fact that I can scroll through all these different clocks and stuff and then you got the cloud channel so I can scroll through some of my favorite ones that I found there's so many cool ones that I always uh, you know kind of look for stuff so you know you got that God of War one um, all these different ones you got the red recommend the gallery uh, the guy with 3d glasses you guys know I love 3d here so this thing just looks awesome and I think it's fantastic and it has a little uh, I have it sitting up there and I don't want to really remove it right now but it does come with a little plastic uh, hook so you can either put this to the wall if you want to it comes with these little screws so you can nail it to the actual wall if you want to do it that way or it comes with a little stand so you can stand it up which is how mine is it's just a little stand that comes in the back um, so you could do it either way you want. Hang it on the wall with little, uh, uh, doesn't come with screws, but it comes with a little hook so you can actually put screws in. You still need your own screws, but I'm just using it with a little stand on it. So yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up with my final thoughts on this. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of the DeVroom Pixo 64. This thing has been awesome. Like, I, like you guys saw, has all those different features, all these different things. I love leaving it on like the cloud and just seeing all the, the different images that people have created and stuff like that. I love being able to put my own uh, you know, I can favor different ones and follow different artists and stuff and they kind of show up on there. Love showing my YouTube stuff and, and just looking at like my subscriber account and looking at TikTok videos and seeing how many likes I have on it. All that cool stuff. Love it. Uh, I love what they're doing with the app and they're doing a really good job. Uh, the only thing that needs a little bit of work uh, is the game integration. I wish there was more of them. I know they have Fortnite on there and, and a couple of other ones that I now uh, can't remember. 
that are on there that sh kind of show what your how many kills you have in the game and stuff. That stuff is awesome. If they can get that working with even more games, um, that would be fantastic because obviously I would love to see my stats for other games that I play on there. So that would be really cool if they lean into the game integration stuff even more but overall i'm really happy with this and i definitely urge you guys to check it out if you guys are interested in this and you want to support me i do have my amazon store link down below where you can actually purchase this for yourself so definitely recommended for me obviously after all these features and uh really really happy with this guys so if you guys have any questions about anything you guys saw in today's video as always leave it down below if not thank you guys for watching until next time